Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to introduce how can we read the system time and date and show the system time and date on the main screen of the HMI. Basically, we will put the date and time at this header, this area. And to read the system date and time, we need a couple important function block and function. Firstly, that is this, fb underscore local system time. That comes from the TC2 utilities, this library. And this function block allows us to read the system time from our controller. And the system time we read out, that is the time structure. And how we can transfer this time structure to a string and then show the date and time on the HMI. Then we need to use this function, system time to string and convert the system and time, this structure into a string. Basically, after this conversion, the date and time will be this style. And after this, from HMI, we need to show the date and the time could be two lines. So the basic idea after, we need to separate this entire line into two area. One is the year, month, and the date. One is the time only. Then to cut one entire string into two different separated strings, so we need to use this function MID. This function MID can sort the letters from one string. So this keyword, the string, length, and the position help us to pick the specific letters from one string. Okay, let me show how can we use this function or function block and read the system time. So firstly, let's go to the global variable page. Global here. And at here, let's declare the function block instant and couple string variables. Okay, we declare this instant DB FB get local system time. And this based on this function block FB underscore local system time. To declare this instant DB based on this function block, we need to add this reference. We already call the TC2 utilities. Basically, this TC2 underscore utilities will be automatic call when we build up this project. If not, you can right click add library and uh, add here, type in TC2 utilities, and then click this uh, TC2 underscore utilities, click OK, add this uh, library into your system reference. And other than this, let's declare the system date time. This is the entire date time read from the system. It will be a very long string. And based on this string, we will separate this long string into two area. One is a system date, one is a system time. Okay? And then let's go to the POU. Let's create or pick one program. In my case, I will pick this program and name the system. And let's program the code here. Firstly, we need to read the system time. So we need to call that instant function block. So right click, click input assistant, and then select this instant call and browse the function block we just declared, fb get local system time, click OK. So the interface input output will automatically pop up. Here the system time will be the interface and variable we read out based on our local system date and time, okay? And the detailed description, so we need to go to the backup website and check out the important input. So from this fb underscore local system time, there will be two important input. One is this enable, one is this DW cycle. Basically the enable, we need to turn it on or turn it to one always to enable this function block. And this DW cycle, the description is here. So the cycle time can be configured while the DW cycle input. But basically, we will set to one, make sure that every time that is a cyclic code. So here, let's scroll down. There will be an example here. So as we can see, this. So when we use this function block, the enable we can set to true. And this DW cycle, we can set to one. Okay, let's shift back to the twin cat. So here, this enable we can set to true. And this DW cycle we can set to one. And the result we can read from this system time, this 
feedback, this output. And based on this result, we can use the function system time underscore two underscore string. Okay. And that function return, that will return the system data and the time. So we can use our system time declared the variable gvl gvl dot system date and time that equal to that function that function that function name system time underscore two underscore string and that input will be the system time that structure so to use this system time we can use this entire instant function and put a dot and we use the system time directly as the input of this function. Don't forget this semicolon here. So using this way, using this function, we can transfer the system time structure into an entire string, okay? And here, we can download our program. Let's watch the actual result from this system time. So here, let's save, build the solution and download. Let's click this downstairs, download hardware first. And once we see this green icon, so we can click this login, download the software portion. So we can see now using this function block and using this function, so we transfer our system time structure into one entire string. And this string, we can see this is the, the entire string. And after this, we could separate this entire string into two area. And the first area is this area, year, date, and time. A second area is this, hour and minute and the second. Okay, so the first area, we will sort the letters from the first position and the entire length, we will pick 10 letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we will pick 10 letters. And the second area, we will start from this 17, this hour. Eight letters. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. We will pick eight letters. So we need to use two times that MID. Okay? And let's click this logout. Let's program. To use the MID function, we can right click, use this input assistant. And at here, test search we can search MID. And because this MID come from the TC2 underscore standard, the utility, so we can select and click this OK. And here, it also describe what does means of this position and the length. OK, click OK. So the first MID, we will sort the year, month, and the date. OK, so the result we will transfer to GVL dot system date and this date will transfer from this uh, MID result and then the string the string is this GVL system date time this entire string so we can copy this to this uh, string and the first area the position we will start from the number one and the length we will put 10 letters so the second hours, minutes, and the second GVL dot the system time equal to. So here we can copy or we can right click again, input, test search, select this standard dot MID. Okay, so the similar way, entire string. So the position, we will start from the 12. And the length, that is the 8. OK. So using this MID, we sort the date and the time separately. So here, let's click this uh, login. And let's verify if the value can read correctly. OK. 
So as we can see now, this is an entire string. And after we use this MID, we sort the date and time separately. So this is the entire. So we can compare a separate into two area. Okay, now let's show this string on the HMI. Okay, let's go to the HMI main screen. From this uh, header, this area, we can put the date and time at here. And this header we created from the previous video. So we go to the header. At here, we can insert two test field. So from this toolbox, let's drag this uh, test field. Okay, by default, its background is white. So we can change the background as the same color as my background. So firstly, let's change this front color. Let's change to the white. And then change the background color, color. Frame color, let's change to frame color to dark gray. And this field color also change to dark gray. And this test, so let's input this format. That format is percent %s. That means we will show the string here and the actual string variable that come from here, test variable. If we go back to the program, at the top, we will show the system date. So that is one string. So we will show this system date. As this test variable, let's paste this system date. So, and then we copy, paste here, the test variable. We can also browse that time, that variable from this uh, PLC HMI project, GVL, this page list, and find out the system time here, click. So we can browse that variable. Okay, so there will be a two lines here. And let's save, build, and log in. Okay, now let's log in. So as we can see, we use two string. The first line, that is uh, the year, month, and date. The second line, that is hour and a minute. Okay, that is for today. In this video from the system, this program, we call the function block get system time. To read the system time, we use this function block fb underscore local system time. And then we use two function to convert the system time to a string. And then use this MID to sort that date and time separately. And then from the HMI, we show the system date and the system time separately by using the percent %s date string format on the HMI. Okay, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.